it's time to dish with D. That's me. It's time for another favorites video. I didn't do get everything in my first favorites video, so I thought I'd do another favorites video because you guys really liked it, and I love sharing things that I found helpful on plan. So these are, and I, I left a few things out which I was not happy about. Why? Because I like too much. But it's all good for good for you stuff. So. There is a special announcement at the end of this video, so I highly recommend that you hang around and listen for it. Let's get started, shall we? Egg whites in a container, or egg makers, egg substitute, egg beaters, whatever you want to call them. On green, these are zero. Now, I love having a container around. I don't usually get this big one, but this is what Walmart substituted my small one for, and hey, who am I to turn it down? I like adding these to my eggs instead of adding more yolks. I could add just whites. I like making these for egg bites or egg cups. Now, a small one will do 12 perfectly. You could put your veggies down, your Canadian bacon, pour this in. Like I said, a small one does a whole dozen. And you have eggs for the week or egg bites, egg cups. Or everyone, I could call them little mini omelets. And there's zero points unless you add things like Canadian bacon, that amount that I add in each one is zero. So it's kind of, it's just a great thing. And we do a lot of Hungry Girl recipes. She's always calling for this. So I love, love, love keeping this. Again, a, the small one is what I usually keep in, but hey, Walmart was give, gifting it to me. So who am I to turn it down? All right. G Hughes. Barbecue sauce. And I do have the honey mustard. I don't know if I took it out. Maybe I didn't, I don't see it. And the honey mustard, I will take that out when I stuff. This barbecue sauce, depending on how much you use, it's zero points or I think uh, two tablespoons. You don't need much more than that. And I'm telling you, it's good. So check out the G Hughes brand. Walmart does carry it. I am the queen of mustards. Have my Dijon, have my Sriracha, and I have my regular. I also like to get a horseradish one when I can find it. So good. Zero points, adds tons of flavor. So, oh, they both fell. Here it is. I was blind. The G Hughes Honey Mustard. Another great one. I do, do enjoy G Hughes. These little sugar free puddings. Two points. You want something sweet, don't have a lot of points, and really aren't truly that hungry. This fits the bill. Two smart points. Jello. There's a couple different brands that have them, so check it out. Sorry about that. Now, where was I? I did mention powdered peanut butter. I'm not sure if I mentioned the powdered almond butter I discovered at Walmart. Yeah. And chocolate PB2. Yeah. If you're a peanut butter powder, powdered peanut butter fan like I am, you need to try. I have a vanilla one too. I got it. Sprouts. So yeah, I'm a little obsessed. Um, I think I did mention this, but I, it bears repeating. I know it sounds weird. It's sugar-free harmless honey by Pure Organics. This is I use in place of honey in certain things because, I mean, truth be told, honey has a lot of points. And if I want to make like chewy bars or something, I like to use this. It saves me like 30 points. Um, I actually like it in my tea, a squirt of it. And it's zero points for the squirt. Um, I do have this as in my Amazon store in case you're interested. This is what it looks like. And if you want to see the nutritional information, there it is. I don't know if you can get much out of that. Um, I do like it. I mean, it's sugar-free, harmless honey, naturally flavored honey alternative sweetener, pure organic, so it's organic. I've mentioned this, but these are the bigger pack of pretzels. These are three points. You can get these at your regular grocery store. I do love that. Um, Splenda. I like Splenda packets, and I've just discovered Stevia packets. Now, Stevia does not dissolve well in cold. Splenda does. That's why I use Splenda in my iced tea because it dissolves in cold. I won these on an Instagram contest and I'm obsessed. They are called Like Air Baked Puffcorn. And it is in, read that. Yes, pancake flavor. Amazon has these. Um, I don't know, if they're, I'm gonna put them in my Amazon store. Let me tell you something. You get three cups for five points. You could have, I think, two points for one cup. Here's some nutritional information. Here, I emailed them to ask them if they would be doing this in individual bags because truth be told, I can plow right through this. So good. I'm, I'm obsessed. So yeah, please. 
are a must. Protein powder. I totally forgot about protein powder. I don't drink it a lot. Sometimes if I want a snack and I just don't know what I want, sometimes I'll get some cashew milk unsweetened and a scoop of this for a two point smoothie or like, you know, throw a little fresh pineapple to like a pineapple upside down cake. So good. And I do like devotional. Um, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the chocolate. I don't like really like a lot of weird, I'm a chocolate snob. I like dark chocolate and that's just like a regular chocolate. So I'm not a fan of really anything chocolate, but the cake. I put it in my baked goods. So good. I mean, it's a little bit pricey. I won't lie. This is probably $40. I did get a buy one, get one free. Hence why I bought it. Look for sales, people. Because they always run sales. Okay. I love sprinkles. Sorry. Or jimmies, however you call them. I always call the chocolate ones jimmies and the rainbow sprinkles. That's how I grew up. But... You can put a teaspoon on, you know, on your little thing and not really count a lot of points. Any points, actually. I don't count a teaspoon. If you use a certain amount, then you have to point it. But sprinkles make things look happy and fun. Put them in your waffles. Put them in your pancakes. Put them in your baked goods. We eat happy food. And if this makes us happy, it's a stinking tablespoon, then by Joe Squash. Squash of any kind. I just happen to have some delicata. From the old pointed plate she dropped a couple off to me these i like to cut in half leave the skin on wash them really good cut them in half scoop out the seeds and just slice it into um half moons makes great french fries i do have a video on that i thought i remember to link it i will link it one of those places um and you, it's, the skin gets tender and it's fantastic i love spaghetti squash i love acorn squash i love butternut squash and there's one here locally called honey nut squash which is a vari variation of the butternut squash so good so good so love love me some squash and spices i don't think i went over spices but i've been obsessed with flavor god spices i do not work for flavor god they aren't i am not an ambassador for flavor god i adore flavor god and they're having a huge sale right now like a summer blowout sale you can get this for like six something which i mean if you price mccormick spices this is definitely a better deal. I mean, I am obsessed with the bacon lovers. Oops. And I do love their cheese. And I have several. I also have garlic. I have a video where I did an unboxing. And if I remember to link that, I'll link that as well. So you can go give her a watch because I don't want to repeat stuff. Because we all. And I do enjoy the Dax. Um, Joan gave me this. It was Greek. I love Greek. When you're making your own Greek dressing, a little vinegar little olive oil and some of this and you are set that brings me to herbs fresh herbs if you can get hold of basil fresh parsley dill cilantro oh my goodness the difference it makes is unbelievable the smell of this and i keep mine in a glass full of water it is i don't think you can see the roots it's rooting and it's this is over a week old and look how beautiful it still looks so yes, I have a brown thumb. I can't grow my own, though I do have my own. I guess I'll have some over here. Dill. I planted this once about 10 years ago. Every year it comes up. I do nothing. It's in a box on the side of my uh, shed out there. Comes up every year. So I have fresh dill, uh, not dill, chives. Every year for no reason at all. But yeah, I try to grow this. Dies every year. But I love, <sighs> if you put this in scrambled eggs, I mean, put it in salad. It's so good. It adds such a oomphness. I can't even explain. Fresh herbs to me are a must. Definitely in the summertime. You're going to laugh at this next one. Instant coffee. If you watch me, I hate coffee. But in a baked good, a chocolate baked good, this amps up your chocolate. Doesn't add any points. And it's, I prefer the um, espresso, but my husband hit it. I still have the regular coffee. So yeah, any chocolate baked good I make, a little of this goes in there. Not a lot, like I said, a little goes a long way. If it's a big item like um, like the donuts, I put a tablespoon, but if it be for like a loaf, I would probably only use a teaspoon and it just dissolves in there. It has to be instant. Don't put regular grinds because it won't work. And still on the coffee bandwagon, I love 
skinny syrups. Now these, I believe, are made for coffee. Um, I got this one at the Dollar Tree, this hazelnut and this French vanilla at the DT for a dollar. Sugar free, they have to be sugar free. Yes. And I got this one at Home Goods, the Skinny Syrups. I love Skinny Syrups, but Home Goods has a great selection. You can also go on skinnysyrups.com. Um, ice cinnamon roll, and I think this is salted caramel. Now, yes, truth be told, they are good in coffee, but they're good in overnight oats or oatmeal. So good. Tea, in chai tea, or in any tea, like chai, chamomile, the little splash in. You will thank me. You're like, oh my God, he's right. Yes, put syrup in your tea. It's so good. It gives me such a, a nice little change of pace with my tea. Makes it feel special and different and high point, and it's not. Make lattes. You ever make lattes with your tea bags? Get, you know, um, some unsweetened, either ca I'm into the cashew, but or you could use almond milk. Steep your tea bag in there. Divine simply divine it costs you whatever how much milk you use if you use a half a cup you don't have to count it if you use a cup yeah it's a point it's a stinking point and then throw a little skinny syrup on there little a squirt of ready whip that you don't have to count i have i don't know if i have the photo anymore but i have a photo of a little latte i made so good. and it was in my little teacup so it wasn't a lot and i didn't have to count it it was yummy and it, you like i said you feel special and you can have your drink with your significant other you both can have your favorite coffee drinks. You could have a tea drink. I mean, it, it, it works. Oh, this has been my obsession lately. Old vintage Weight Watcher cookbooks. My mother had a couple, so I've been going through this, looking at recipes. There's some really cool things. You might have to reconfigure it in your recipe builder, but that's how we learn. And I say this a lot. People just say, what's the point? Break down a recipe, put it in your builder. You're paying for this, the app use it learn that is how how do you think i got where i am i taught myself i use your recipe builder figure out your points and sometimes if you see recipes online they're not always true to point some places i don't know why it, they're not right but sometimes they're not right so it always pays to check your points on a recipe that you don't know where it came from and you look at yourself hmm, doesn't some, you'll be you'll be doing as much you'll know it doesn't sound right and if it acts like a duck and quacks like a duck it's a duck but yeah go through this is like oh this is from like the 1980s i think it was the quick start plus program my mother and i were on it so i remember her getting this and i pulled it out and parmesan puff hors d'oeuvre and there's so many weird stuff in here molded cheese salad i mean i'm sure you know i mean definitely it have to be a lower point option i would definitely think and now the moment we've been waiting for. What's your big announcement, Dee? Well, I'm giving away a box of Bilt Bars. I am a Bilt Bar ambassador, if you didn't know that. I mean, I say it all the time. And I am obsessed with my favorite thing. And these are my favorite chocolate candy bars. I know to me they are not a meal replacement. They are a treat. Now this one has been my favorite right now, the hazelnut cheesecake, it is four points. I'm also obsessed with the um, cookie dough, which is three points. Um, they're having a blowout sale right now, if you don't know that. 15% um, off one box, 30% off two boxes, and 50% off four or more boxes. So if you have favorite flavors, they're liquidating their what they have in stock of their flavors now. They're apparently revamping the bar, adding more protein, and lightening it up. Like, it's a very dense bar. I will say that it's a dense bar. So I don't know what's going to come out. I don't know what points they're going to be. I don't think they're going to go up because if they're adding protein, I can't see them going up, but I don't know for sure. Um, so if you're a big Bilt Bar fan, I would highly suggest you go get your favorite flavor. But if you're also a fan of Dish with D, if you leave a comment of your favorite Bilt Bar flavor or just your favorite thing in general, uh, I'm going to draw one in a couple of days. Now today is Thursday. This video will go up on Thursday. So by Saturday, midnight, I guess I'll draw it on Sunday. I'll draw it on Sunday. So on Sunday, so it has to be uh, midnight on Saturday night. It'll be the last, I didn't think I mentioned that last time, I apologize. But yes, this, so it'll be two days from now, will be the end. So get your, tell me your, tell me anything is your favorite. If you like Bill Bars, tell me what's your favorite Bill Bar player. And if you like Bill Bars and want to get in on the sale, I suggest. Now, 
the winner will receive their flavor of choice if I can still get it because flavors are going fast. So, you know, I can do the best I can do. I'll have them send it directly to you. You won't have to go through me. So that is it. I hope you enjoy my part two of my favorite things. I'm sure there'll be a part three because I know I left stuff out. That's my life. So if you did enjoy my favorites, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider a subscription to Dish With D. She uploads very regularly. She does vlogs. She tries to cook, but sometimes it's a hot mess. And she's very, I'm talking to her like she's somebody else. We have tea with D every night. Please come. You're all welcome. And I do a glam squad. We exercise on Zoom five days a week, Monday through Friday. You're all welcome to join me there. And don't forget to come to tea. I think I already mentioned that. So have a great day and we will dish another day.